Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Alan. Hey, I was gonna do a video on MIG settings right quick. I get asked a lot of times what settings I'm running and everything. So I'm gonna do a, a, a quick video, show you what my, I guess, favorite setting is. Um, I'm on it most of the time if I'm doing quarter inch plate and 3 16 sometimes it go down a little bit on 3 16 But uh, it's, it's kind of a go-to temp. And I do change sometimes if the fit is a little wider or a little narrower or whatever. But anyway, this is what I got. I'm building up uh, some fire boxes out here. There's one back there, one here. The chamber here, another grill over there. They're everywhere. But this is what I'm doing. I'm welding this one up right now. Now I was gonna show you the settings I'm running on there. And all of these, the top ones were flat and I left the temp the same on the sides. They were ran downhill. Still not done with it yet. I still got a whole lot of it to weld. But on this, this is the HTP Pro Pulse. This is a good machine. If you're looking for a machine, this is one to definitely consider. But right there, I'm running 19.7 and 283. And this is 030 wire. Man, this thing is dusty, ain't it? Oh, gone. But yeah, 19.7 and 283. If the gap changes some, all of this was fit up real good. It's all outside corner joints. You can see the gap is going to stay the same pretty much all the way around. Sometimes you get a little wider on the side. You get a little narrower, depending on how it is. When stuff is hand cut, Everything ain't always exactly the same. I mean, so you have to fudge it a little bit. So if it gets a little wider, I'll go down a little bit, probably 19.5. Uh, let me show you. On this machine, it'll change. A lot of machines will, but this is one that will. It'll change the wire speed when you change the voltage. Or when you change the wire speed, it'll change the voltage down. So 19.5, 263, a lot of times. 267. If the gap gets a little narrower and one side is overlapping the other side, I probably, I'm, it depends on how it sits. I can't really say on that because it depends on how it sits. I might go a little hotter. I might go a little colder and try to feed off of that wider side, you know. But that's a go-to setting right there. Let me turn it back where I had it. 19.7 and 283 with 030 wire. With 035, I'd go down a little bit to probably... 19.5 to even 19 volts possibly seeing how it does on an outside corner joint if it's an inside corner joint it's it'll be a little hotter than what i'm running right now because it's got to bite into it more on the outside it's a little easier for it to bite into so anyway that's just a quick video on some of the settings i use a lot of people ask me about it all the time so anyway if you're new to the channel please like and subscribe and y'all come back for the next one we'll see you then